your imagination ever been struck by lightning? Has it ever drank a shot of espresso? Or has anything ever caused your imagination to run faster than the same bolt? Well, that very thing happened to me several years ago while I was watching this movie, you might recognize it as Iron Man. Specifically the part when Tony Stark begins interacting with these crazy blue holograms that display all sorts of information just floating around the room. And then again and again throughout the movie, as he uses them to design his suit, to look at amazing maps, or to find out more about his enemy. So, obviously today I'm here to talk about technology. And also pretty obvious is the fact that these are not quite a reality as of now. So I'm going to talk about the next best thing, augmented reality. Today I want to answer the question, what is augmented reality, how does it work, and what are some applications of it? So first, what is augmented reality? Well, there are different types, but the type I'm talking about today is the altering or supplementing type of augmented reality. What that means is, I'm talking about devices that either slightly change or add to what you perceive to be as the reality around you, your current environment. How does it work? Augmented reality devices work by overlaying visuals onto the environment around you. They can overlay almost any visual onto what you see, the walls, the desk, the ceiling, everything. Devices such as the Microsoft HoloLens work by projecting three-dimensional images onto lenses and a glasses-like device so that when you, the wearer, look through the device, you see those same type of Tony Stark holograms in the world around you. They also capture movement through cameras, and that is so that you can interact with those holograms through your gestures and even through your very fingertips. If you want to know more about this, you can look online at Microsoft.com, and you can and it'll have a page about Microsoft HoloLens. However, I want to talk about what some of the applications are. First, you have some fun and practical applications such as playing a board game with no board, no board whatsoever. Or you could have what this shows right here, a holographic web browser, one that you can interact with. Expand it by pulling it apart, reach out and grab the link that you want to go to. Or you could reach out, crumple it up, and toss it over into a holographic trash bin. So some ideas, they might use that, they might not. But those are some of the fun aspects. However, there's a whole other side to this. There is a revolutionary aspect. Augmented reality as a concept can change many of the ways the world works. It can change how we plan buildings and design cities. It can change engineering. It can even change how we teach children in schools. No more children sitting at a, at a desk reading science out of a book when they could see it right in front of them, right in 3D on their desk, and they can interact with it. No more memorizing random history dates when the entire class can be transported back into the very events and time. And think about what it can do now for the medical field. It's revolutionizing it. Now, through augmented reality, a specialist on one side of the globe could step into an operating room on the other side of the planet, look at the patient on the table in a perfectly realistic replica, and then assess the situation and give the best instructions possible to the surgeons. Those are just a few of the ways augmented reality could change the world. So what's the takeaway? Well, now you know a little bit about what augmented reality is, how it works, and what are some of the amazing applications of it. I hope this has sparked your imagination. Thank you for your kind attention.